Today we're making tandoori chicken sandwiches. They're easy, delicious, and quick to make, and it's going with a homemade mayonnaise. Let's get straight into it. Starting off, we're gonna make our marinade. Here we have 250 grams of natural Greek yogurt. We're then going to follow that up with 10 grams of Kashmiri chili powder and 10 grams of garam masala, six grams of ground coriander, six grams of ground cumin, five grams of smoked paprika, and three grams of ground turmeric. With the spices in, we're then going to grate our garlic. I'm going four cloves of freshly peeled garlic. And we're also going to grate 20 grams of peeled ginger. Let's then add all of that in. Add in the juice from one quarter of a lemon. Just make sure that there's no seeds in there. Hit it up with a generous portion of salt and some cracked black pepper. Once you have all that done, we can then whisk this all around. Just make sure everything is evenly combined. And with that done, you should have something that looks like this. We can then add in one kilo of boneless and skinless chicken thigh. Then get in there with clean hands. Just massage this all together, making sure you're getting all of those little nooks and crannies and everything's completely coated in that marinade. That's what good tandoori chicken sounds like. <laughs> Let's then give this a wrap with some glad wrap. And now we can allow this to marinate anywhere between 30 minutes up to 48 hours. Now, whether your chicken's been marinating for up to two days or even 30 minutes, we can then make our mayo. We're going to crack one egg into a tall jar or container. Follow that up with 15 milliliters of white vinegar, 10 grams of Dijon mustard, 15 grams of fresh dill, 10 grams of flat leaf parsley, and 180 grams of any neutral flavored oil. I've used vegetable oil here, but you can also use sunflower or safflower. Now with all of that in, we can use a stab blender or an immersion blender to blitz this all up to create an emulsion till it's nice and thick. And that is our mayonnaise, or in this case, our herby mayonnaise from the dill and the parsley. Once that's done, you'll have this thick mayonnaise. It smells delicious as well. Just check it for seasoning, adjust to your taste, and then we can pop this in the fridge until we're ready to serve. When you're ready to start piecing this all together, we're going to need two avocados. The amount is up to you, but two is a decent amount. Just place a knife around that seed, follow it around to open it up like that. Once open and the seeds removed, just use a spoon to scoop out the flesh, just placing this into a bowl. Squeeze in one quarter of a lemon, just to add a little bit of acidity in there. Again, make sure there's no seeds. Hit it up with a little bit of salt to taste, as well as some cracked black pepper. Let's then get in there with a fork and just break this up, mash it to a nice smooth paste, and you can leave it a little bit chunky if you wanted to. After you've beat it up a little bit, you have this slightly chunky, slightly soft avocado. Just do it how you like it. I also like to add some onion into this. Just slice these into thin or medium sized strips. Just pop out the center. And then we just have these nice little rings. Now with your bread of choice, I'm using Turkish because it has a really nice aeration. We can just slice these open. Place these onto a baking tray lined with some parchment paper. Drizzle with a little bit of olive oil, and you can also use butter if you like to, or leave it out completely. Then we can take these over to our preheated oven that's set on the grill or broiler at 180 degrees Celsius, and just toast these for about two minutes or to your liking. When the chicken's finished marinating, place a pan over a medium high heat. Add in roughly one tablespoon of olive oil. Get that nice and hot. When your pan's nice and hot, add in the chicken. We're going to sear this for about three minutes to four minutes on each side, just until golden brown and cooked through. And if your pan's not big enough, I do recommend doing this in batches. Don't overcrowd the pan. After about four minutes, we can then flip this over. You should have a nice little golden sear on there. Make sure you pick up any little bits that might be stuck to the pan as well. Now after about four minutes on each side, you have a beautiful little charring going on. This is cooked through. We're gonna remove this from the stove top and just let it rest for about five minutes for the juices to redistribute. Now once you have everything toasted, we can then use our herby mayo. Just spread this out on the bottom and on the top as well. The amounts are completely up to you. Next, we can do the same thing with the avocado if you wanted to use it. Place down your lettuce that's just been washed and then drained. 
for the start of the show, place over that delicious tandoori chicken. This is obviously rested, so the juices have redistributed. I recommend roughly two thighs per sandwich. Last but not least, place over those red onion rings. You can also add tomato, cucumber, pretty much whatever you like. Place over that top. Just push this down so those sauces and the avocado can spread throughout. Now there is only one thing left to do. We can then slice this open. And we can then dig in. <laughs> 